finally the day has come. We are going to be cleaning the boat with 91% isopropanol alcohol just to get any residue and dust off the boat before we're gonna paint the boat. Um, we were waiting a little bit um, for a brush thinner that's specific to the paint manufacturer because you don't want to use anything else that might mess up the paint. If you're already this deep in, pay the money, get the right brush thinner. Today we're going to be doing an easy, petite easy epoxy burgundy and we got the petite brushing thinner 120. Um, because it's humid, because it's hot, we're going to add 10%, not more than 10%. Um, so it's going to be three ounces to a quart. Three ounces to a quart and um, that's the max you can go. Um, just so that we can apply before it dries so quickly. Um, just to have a little bit more control over it. First, uh, we're gonna be just cleaning off the side of the boat. Having cleaned the boat properly, we go ahead using the rolling and tipping method with one part polyutherane um, easy epoxy burgundy by Petite and apply the first coat of paint to the boat. The results are good. Um, although we see some brush lines, so we definitely need a second coat. The next days are rainy, so we follow up with that. So it's been a few days of raining, hot, humid weather. We couldn't really paint. Uh, we applied the first coat. Um, today we're just going to be sanding down um, in between coats with 320 wet sanding. And this is just to get the surface nice and smooth and that the next coat can really adhere to the surface um, of the paint of the painted surface. Um, yeah, so we redid the other side. We're just gonna do this side, finish this up. After that, towel, towel down um, with some alcohol and then um, start laying the new paint with the rolling and tipping me method. Once I feel any tension, I know that I'm working on a drier surface. I just need to wet the surface a little bit more. Why we picked today is because it's a cooler day. We did a little bit earlier in the day because we find that applying the polyutherane on a very hot sunny day is a pain and it dries really, really quickly. So with the boat wet sanded, that toweled off with a dry towel. Um, the residue picked up with another towel with isopropanol alcohol. Um, we've taken all the residue off from the wet sanding. You can still see some of the brush marks. Hopefully the second coat of paint will deal with that. Our first coat, we didn't. Have, we had a plastic tray and especially for uneven surfaces we have here, it was a big pain in the ass. So we got a proper solid, um, I think aluminum tray and it really makes for rolling on uneven surfaces like the floor or the ground or the road um, much easier, much more smoother. And it will get the foam roller more evenly um, filled with paint. We worked our way around the boat in the same manner we approached the first coat by rolling and tipping. We took great heed in terms of finding small spots that we may have missed where we really saw brush strokes and we paid good attention to those areas areas, and and faded them into the paint of the boat. You can see the results here. The boat itself is much more uniform. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.